Have you ever been given a piece of advice that stayed with you even years after you first heard it? Well, for me, there were these three ideas or concepts that have just stayed with me, even if I'm still working on the application of them. They just keep popping back into my mind. But rather than limit to just those three, I felt that this would be a good topic to go back to over and over, especially as I change and learn and other pieces of advice pop back into my memory or even I am given them for the first time. So without further ado, welcome to Advice That Stits, Episode 1. And this first piece of advice was given to me when I was first starting to make videos years ago. And as kind of a reference point to where I was, I created like a three minute video for a review and it took me like a full day and a half to kind of of tates or reading for the script and practicing in front of the camera to actually make that three minute video. So kind of knowing that, I wanted to learn how to better be comfortable on camera. And the advice I was given was being able to laugh at myself. Because that's the thing, is that whenever we're doing something that is a bit out of our comfort zone, we don't mean to mess up. We, It's in all probability. <laughs> and then it's very easy to then go down this road of perfectionism and stress as we try everything to do it right. It didn't. Two and a half days to make a three minute video. And that was probably didn't even include my strip writing and whatever. It was just kind of staring into Tamara, trying to get it right, trying to make sure everything was perfect and all right. <laughs> and this makes being able to then laugh a mistake off, or even just having a bit of fun while doing something that's difficult, that much more helpful to us. And to be honest, I do tend towards being a bit more serious in most situations. It's like my default state when not comfortable. <laughs> and that's at least how I've been in the past. And in fact, it often seemed that I was like the easy person for would-be comedian to play off of. And maybe since there has been sort of a break of that sort of presence in my life is what has made it even easier for me to then now be able to be the clown for myself. Which kind of exposes the rub of laughing at ourselves in that, or humor in general, in that we may not have the same sense of humor as anyone else. Because, trust me, I've had plenty of times where I've said something I felt was hilarious, and people just stare back. <laughs> Which can often mean that I'm probably at my doofiest in-between takes on these videos. Because, again, I've become comfortable with being on camera. And there's also something that's just funny about how fun it is to play around in front of a camera, like playing around in front of a mirror. It's pretty much like my own blooper reel in a sense, probably, but... It also lowers the pressure of feeling like I need to be perfect, because it's not going to be, at least if I want to get these videos out at any sort of reasonable pace. It didn't. Two and a half days, one three and a half minute video, and that was just me kind of doing it over and over again, with pretty much nothing else on my plate. <laughs> not really practical at all. So if the upteenth reference to the Marvel Ultimate Alliance launcher puts a smile on my face, hey, I told you, senses of humor can be very different. Why not say it? Now there is kind of another side to this in that there are some people who can never take a joke about themselves. Even though they may be laughing and making jokes about everyone else, the moment it hits home for them is when they get agitated. And granted, we probably all have areas that we don't really like to be made fun of in or have jokes be made about. Real jokes are rarely original, just saying. But when that list includes everything about us, well, should we even be making jokes about other people? And now, there are two ways to really deal with tasteless jokes. The first is that we can either address it in that it was not okay and setting some boundaries and expectations for a relationship. And then, most people who kind of may be joking with you are probably wanting to kind of be friendly and so forth. And so they'll probably respect kind of certain areas that you don't want to be made fun of in. And they'll accept that, as long as you kind of give voice to it and acknowledge it. Otherwise, you might just be setting expectations for them that they don't know about. 
And now the other thing that we can do about Tiny Jokes, and it actually kind of reveals almost who can be mean spirit and who is actually doing it in fun, and kind of how their response might be, and that we can own it and then take it farther. And that we then up then kind of did the laugh. And it changes the dynamic because if someone is being mean spirited, then they're kind of in that bullying state. Whereas someone who's actually having fun is just kind of excited that you're kind of playing around and giving them back the same energy they're kind of didding. And they know you can kind of take it, so they might go farther, but... <laughs> but then there's kind of that thing about it's kind of a way to kind of bring it in for fun. Whereas if they're trying to bully you, then just like a bully is that when you kind of stand up, you tend to not be as easy pitting. So while you may get beat up one time, they may leave you alone because it's then no longer fun for them as they don't get the power high that they got before. But the only way to even be able to see the setting up for that joke is to be able to laugh at ourselves in the first place. Otherwise, we are probably going to be a bit too sensitive to even consider going in that direction. And I guess the best way to end this is to ask, why so serious? Because I believe I made my case on why it can be worth to laugh at ourselves. But maybe you have a different opinion. So why not share what you thought about this topic in the comments below? Anyway, I'm Jonah. You've been watching Lions Bay Media, where we talked about stories, both real and fictional, and life in general, and then how to trap stories and the principles behind them and so forth. So if you like that kind of content, please sit around. Hope to talk to you later and have a great rest of your day.